Hello, Columbia. I'm Leisha Yutzi, Director of Public and Media Relations for the City of Columbia. Throughout the year, the city works tirelessly to enhance the quality of life for its citizens and provide them with opportunities that are unique, educational, and fun for everyone. From Columbia Water to Public Works to Planning and Development, every department at the city has made an impact to help assist, build, or strengthen the community. Throughout this video, we'll give you a snapshot of what went on in the City of Columbia during 2017 and tell you why those events happened or why they are so important. So let's take a look. The City of Columbia kicked off 2017 strong with the unveiling of City Council's 20-year vision statement, Envision Columbia. The kickoff was held during the Mayor's State of the City Address in January. This vision statement, which describes the city's desired ideal state for citizens, businesses, students, and tourists in the future, serves as a detailed roadmap of how the city will plan and build towards the year 2036. To spread the message of the new vision statement throughout the year, City officials and staff made appearances on local television stations, published a vision statement and focus area videos, and members of City Council produced an Envision Columbia music video and showed off the wrapped Envision Columbia car every day in the city, as well as at special events throughout the year. Uh, without a vision, the people perish. We dream, we aspire, we innovate, we challenge. Our vision leads us in tackling difficult issues. It leads us in rejecting the status quo and making meaningful, necessary changes to the arc of our trajectory. A vision that's going to lead us into becoming the city that we want to be, not in 2017, not just for today, but for the next 20 years. How do we want our neighborhoods to look? How do we want our vibrant entertainment districts to continue contributing to the city, what's the vista going to be like? Five Points, Main Street. How are these incredible arteries jetting through our neighborhoods continue to make sure we prosper? The City of Columbia has some organizational changes this past year with the creation of Columbia Water and with the addition of new executive management roles and positions. City Manager Teresa Wilson was a key figure for these necessary changes and helped inform the citizens by television and through radio spotlights. City Manager Teresa Wilson also received an I'm Every Woman Award at the Palmetto Capital City Classic Annual Luncheon. It was a banner year for the University of South Carolina. The Lady Gamecocks women's basketball team won their first ever Women's NCAA National Championship and thousands lined up Main Street and at the State House to honor that victory. Head coach Dawn Staley was honored at the celebration and was given her very own street designation. On behalf of the grateful people of Columbia, so proud to be the home of the University of South Carolina and the county seat of Richland County, we want to ask Coach Staley to come up and, and, and make a special presentation and tell people that when they come to Columbia, South Carolina, from now on, you come on down to the Colonial Life Arena, you'll pass Lincoln Street from Pendleton to Assembly, which you'll hear for now be known as Don Staley West. The city also saw a huge influx of people for a truly historical event that happened above Columbia. And that was the 2017 total solar eclipse. Columbia was one of the best spots across the nation for this phenomenon. And we welcomed visitors from all over the world to witness it. The city of Columbia hosted many events that helped people all over the United States and from other countries and welcomed them to our community. This year, the former departments of Utilities and Engineering and Customer Care all combined to form Columbia Water. This revamped department 
focuses on the drinking water, wastewater, and stormwater for all the city water customers throughout the Midlands. New leadership positions were also established to help spearhead this new department. Columbia City Council, our mayor and council have put a real emphasis on water and sewer infrastructure needs. Um, just with this current budget year we're in, the new fiscal year for 17-18, they've approved us funding um, millions and millions of dollars worth of projects. It's really unprecedented, particularly for storm, our stormwater system. Um, so we need that daily emphasis by a very senior level executive and his team to make sure we shepherd those projects through. On the topic of new, Columbia Water also held a ribbon cutting ceremony for their new gold level lead water wastewater administration building. This is the first City of Columbia building to receive this recognition which focuses on energy efficient and environmentally friendly designs. This is what happens when you take a piece of property uh, that has seen better days, better, better years, and decide that we're going to work together and use it to benefit the entire community. Uh, uh, this is thinking big. Uh, this, this is thinking about where Columbia wants to be, not in 2017, uh, but in 2037. We are making commitment uh, to preserving uh, this wonderful earth that our parents have passed on to us, preserving it for our children and our, and our, and our grandchildren, and doing it in a way that we can all be proud of. The mission of the city's Community Development Department is to improve the quality of life for Columbia citizens by providing economic, housing, and social opportunities. From community outreach events to educational workshops to financial assistance programs, the community development staff were able to improve many lives throughout the City of Columbia this year. In April 2017, the department hosted Community Development Week in the City of Columbia. This week featured an opening press conference, a ribbon cutting ceremony for new homes in the Lion Street area, outreach pop-up stations across the city, and a community block party to conclude their events for the week. During the week, the department focused heavily on educating the citizens on the programs and opportunities they have with the Community Development Department. I think it's important just to take a moment and say thank you uh, to our community development professionals. Thank you to our staff and our incredible um, uh, development corporations and our community partners. Over the last uh, several years, community, CDBG funds the Community Development Block Grant program has been a major vehicle in community revitalization, creating or retaining over 3,000 jobs, serving over 23,000, almost 24,000 households across uh, this city in a variety of programs, um, including um, housing rehabilitation, uh, to new housing, to economic uh, development. The work that these professionals have done leveraging uh, federal dollars, which of course are our tax dollars going to the federal government, uh, to help rebuild our communities has been uh, nothing short of amazing. Development corporations in the City of Columbia are extremely helpful in the future planning and development in all areas across the city. The Columbia Empowerment Zone, Incorporated, is extremely beneficial in new projects this year. Columbia Empowerment Zone, Inc. helped unveil and break ground for the new Busby Street Community Resource and Training Facility off of Farrell Road. This facility will be a fantastic community gathering space for residents of the area and will serve as a training facility for the City of Columbia as well as house a police training facility and also classroom space. Um, as many of you know, this will be a community center with walking trails, the police substation, uh, with a training facility at the base of the James Clyburn Memorial Pedestrian Bridge. I want to thank Dalton Tresent from the Congressman's Office uh, for representing Congressman Clyburn here uh, today. This has been a fantastic partnership between the City of Columbia, uh, all of our different departments, Parks and Rec, the Police Department, our Department of Engineering, uh, Department of Public Works, and uh, the Columbia Empowerment Zone. I want to thank uh, Felicia Maloney and, and, and Judge McDuffie. The City of Columbia is all about business development. And with the Office of Business Opportunities, or OBO, the city was able to land several new businesses in Columbia, 
as well as assisting with startups, entrepreneurs, and small businesses throughout the city. Through loan programs and educational programs and business workshops, OBO reaches out to thousands of people and hundreds of businesses each year. One of the most successful events the department had this year was the Small Business Week activities. Kicking off with a press conference at the Columbia Chamber of Commerce, Small Business Week aimed to inform small businesses about opportunities within the city to help them grow their companies. The department ended the week with the Small Business Week conference, which gave attendees an exclusive look at the potential impact of the workshops and programs OBO offers, as well as providing the chance for a great networking opportunity. This is a week where we actually make sure that small businesses know that we know that they're important to our economy and that we give them the support that we need. Um, it's also a time for them to let to know what we do at the City of Columbia because sometimes folks don't know what all we offer. So we give them that and then today they get workshops. So they get to take some knowledge home with them as well. Another conference OBO held this year was the Women's Business Opportunity Conference, which allowed businesswomen to speak with city departments one-on-one -on -one to see if they are compatible with each other for potential business opportunities. This is an opportunity for women-owned businesses here in the local area to meet with our purchasers at Columbia. Um, the city spends millions and millions of dollars each year and this is an opportunity to meet with some of those purchasers. One of the things we know is that women oftentimes don't have the relationships with the purchasers that they need. Today they actually get a one-on-one, ten-minute meeting with people who they normally wouldn't have the opportunity to meet. So for them it's going to be very valuable, the contacts and the relationships that they can build. With over 600 acres of city-maintained parkland and 14 recreation centers across the city of Columbia, the Parks and Recreation Department is constantly hosting events for the entire family to enjoy. The department broke ground for new renovations to be held at Hampton Park, opened up Columbia's first Miracle League field in Owens Park, and held a special ribbon-cutting ceremony for the new Columbia Arts Center in downtown. The new construction at Hampton Park will feature a 3,000 square foot center that will include open meeting space, accessible restrooms, office space, a kitchen, storage, and a semi-private classroom area. This has been a long time coming and I want to thank our leaders in our Parks and Recreation Department for what will be a you know, fantastic new 3,000 square foot community center in the heart of a, uh, of, a, of a great neighborhood, open meeting space, accessible restrooms, office space, a kitchen storage, um, a semi-private classroom area for our, our children who, who engage in, in so many different activities in this, in this great space and the deck overlooking this beautiful pond and sylvan environment that we enjoy here. The Miracle League field and adjacent playground is designed for individuals with mental and physical disabilities. This rubberized surface of the playground and field gives children the opportunity to play in a safe and secure environment, especially those who may have disabilities. I can't even share the emotions that I'm feeling today about what this all means. Um, we don't have enough miracle fields throughout this country, certainly in the state of South Carolina and in our city, but we're growing and we're satisfying the needs for a group of people that is very important to all of us. The construction of the new Columbia Arts Center was also a huge project for the Parks and Recreation Department. This gives the public easier access to the facility and allows for more fantastic opportunities including classes, a gallery, and workshop space. I've been trying to get the Arts Center downtown for about six years now. Uh, six, six years and we had other ideas but it's amazing how um, um, some patience, a lot of hard work, some vision, a passion by so many of you out there uh, got the Art Center in the right place at the right time. And, and I will tell you, if you don't spend as much time in downtown Columbia, I want to encourage you to come down and see the place that's emerging here. Focusing on development, planning, and preservation, the Planning and Development Services Department is always looking towards the future of the City of Columbia. They kick things off with the city's first open streets event which took place on a couple of blocks of Divine Street. Open Streets Columbia focused on sustainable transportation 
as well as community engagement. We've been doing open streets movements across the country. Um, a lot of our peers in southern, southeastern cities do them already, so we are so excited to be hosting our first open streets event. And the reason that we're doing it is it's, it's a way to get people really um, both active and in, in touch with, with the community that can be out and enjoying that space. So we're really good at throwing festivals in Columbia. We have a lot of fun festivals, but this is a little bit different because this is something that is gonna get people out and engaged and they're, they're hopefully gonna learn some new skills. The department also focused on development in certain districts and neighborhoods throughout the city, including planning workshops for the Rocky Branch area, the Mill District located in Olympia Mill, and North Main Street with their walkable 29203 event. Planning and Development Services also held their annual Parking Day. The event was held in downtown Columbia and organizations, businesses, and City of Columbia departments, including Public Works, Public and Media Relations, and Parks and Recreation, along with BPAC, the Bicycle and Pedestrian Advisory Committee, all gathered on Main Street to promote community engagement and sustainability by turning parking spaces into parks for a day. Every day the Public and Media Relations Department at the City of Columbia helps inform the citizens of Columbia with the latest news and information on various types of media platforms including print, online, and advertised media. One of the first events held in 2017 was the Envision Columbia Social Media Town Hall, which featured the mayor and several council members answering the public's questions on the new vision statement. The event was streamed live on Twitter, Facebook, and on YouTube, and it was a fantastic opportunity to engage with the community. This is something that's reflective, not just of this council's ideas, but it's, it's reflective of our constant conversations that we have with the men and women who make the city and region work every single day. Um, so as we look forward to 2036, not next year or five years, but 20 years down the road, we want to make sure we build as inclusive a team as possible to make sure that we're um, living up to our full potential. Another Envision Columbia-based event was the Envision Columbia Women's Summit. This event brought in hundreds of women to the Columbia Metropolitan Convention Center to learn more about the Envision Columbia vision statement and how they can personally contribute to the new initiative and to future developments in our city. We are engaging our community with um, our visioning process that the Columbia City Council has gone through and Ms. Tamika Isaac Devine, our at-large councilwoman, wanted to first engage the ladies of Columbia and the Midlands to get them involved with um, the process that Columbia City Council went through with the vision statement and how we are aspiring to reach our focus areas and goals to move our city forward to 2036. One annual event that the department takes on is the Love Columbia Photo Challenge. This challenge allows the public to show off their best pictures and explain why they love Columbia. The department also created a detailed fiscal year report to the community for the 2016-2017 fiscal year. Using print publications and videos, the department was able to spread the successes and accomplishments of the City of Columbia's departments during that fiscal year. The City of Columbia's Police Department, the City of Columbia's Fire Department, and Columbia Richland 911 Communication Center do so much for the City of Columbia on a daily basis by making sure the city is safe and secure. These departments also give back to the community every chance they get. One of the ways the Columbia Police Department is giving back is with ice cream. The department bought and utilizes an ice cream truck and it's used to give out ice cream to the public at events to help build community policing partnerships. The Columbia Fire Department also gave back with the donation of three decommissioned fire trucks to local schools and educational facilities. These donated trucks will now serve as educational tools for students interested in a career of volunteer service or full-time fire service and fire safety. Donation, uh, a partnership uh, from the fire department, the, the city of Columbia and Richland County um, donating these to the, to the school system. And, and I would tell you, I'm so 
honored and blessed to be associated with the city of Columbia and Richmond County in, in this endeavor because I think it's going to really make a big difference in how, how the students move forward in their learning. Of course, to be successful, you need, to, you need the right tools for any job. And these are trucks that serve the citizens of the city of Columbia and Richmond County. And now they're gonna be used for a, another purpose. The Public Works Department contains many important divisions for the city of Columbia, including Animal Services, Climate Protection Action Campaign, or CPAC, Forestry and Beautification, Solid Waste and Recycling, street maintenance and traffic engineering. It is the city's largest department and works around the clock to maintain and enhance the city's infrastructure and the public's quality of life. The Animal Services Division has had a busy year with a new adoption rate of just $35 and countless adoption specials have been offered in order to give pets a better chance of being adopted. CPAC has also been busy this year with the emphasis on solar energy. The Climate Protection Action Committee held several solar energy education workshops throughout the year, including Solar Scene at the Columbia Museum of Art and the Women's Solar Workshop at Adventure Children's Museum. This is an opportunity just to get all of your solo questions answered. Uh, the city has been working really hard through a lot of initiatives, our Climate Protection Act Committee. Um, we passed a resolution earlier this year to become 100% renewable by year 2036. Um, you might have seen solar panels around town on people's roofs as you're driving through. So there's a lot of things going on as it relates to solar energy. Public Works also held their annual Midlands Region Backhoe Rodeo. The event was held at the Public Works facility. Departments from across the Midlands competed in a number of different Public Works events to test their skills using heavy machinery with the hopes of competing in the statewide final competition. It was also a great chance to say thank you to our employees and to their employees during Public Works Appreciation Week. So as you can see, 2017 was a very busy year in the City of Columbia. For more information about the City of Columbia, visit our website at columbiasc.net. You can also check out full-length videos of the many events that happened in 2017 on our YouTube site at City of Columbia Government or on Facebook at City of Columbia. Also be sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms for all of the latest news and information, including Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, SoundCloud, Tumblr, Twitter, and YouTube. Thank you for tuning in to this year's annual recap, and we hope you will have a great 2018 in the city of Columbia.